Deluxe Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls Beer Battle Edition. Because that's what we do. Yep. I don't know why I got so aggressive there. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> two beers on the table. Well, because it, it goes thing. in the Beer Battle playlist and As the Beer Swirls yeah, okay. playlist. I get it. I so, anyways, it. we have a tremendous episode set up for you guys. I sure And so. it is so much past Christmas and it makes no sense to do it. Doesn't matter. But you know, we were gonna do it on Christmas, but never got around this to it. This looks exactly like Christmas Day was. Who's to say? It's not Christmas yeah. right now. Because like the nuclear winter, it looks like snow outside. Anyways, uh yeah, we're, we're drinking day. We're like in February, so it's winter. It's okay. It's fine. Well, winter in New well, York. Sixty dollar day, ten today, whatever. It's like March second, it's gonna be sixty tomorrow or something. I don't know, whatever. Uh Dan, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Good. Uh, anyways. Beer swirls. Done. So we, Mike, you want to hold up yours? Yes, I do. So we're going to explore the Hardywood GBS Stout. Oh. The OG, right? So that is the Hardywood Gingerbread Stout. And uh, this, is an imperial, this one's an Imperial Milk Stout with cinnamon, vanilla, ginger, and honey. 9.2%. And this bad boy is the same exact beer. But it's bourbon barrel aged. Yeah, boy. Uh, ABV on one. this. Hold on, let me <laughs> break out it. the spectacles, the old man. 12.2 ABV. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know anything about what it was barreled in or whatever. Yeah, oh, wait. Oh, oh, right oh, 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 oh. Infos. Look at that. Wait, well, imagine that. Infos on a bottle. That's not how you spell friggin'. Uh, yeah, so. It says Freaking Christmas it in the says bottle. It Freegan. Yeah. <laughs> like Brian Freegan. Brewed with vanilla bean, cinnamon, fresh Castle Monte Farm baby ginger and Bear Farms wildflower, wildflower honey. Gingerbread stout is then matured in Virginia bourbon barrels where it adapts an incredibly mellow character with notes of oak and caramel emerging 12 weeks later as bourbon barrel GBS. So 12 weeks. So, okay. Okay. So about okay. three months. The, the dreaded three months. The dreaded three months. months. But it's okay. I've never, it's I've never also had, in a snake oil bottle. I've never had a... Ver I love these bottles. I it's the Coors it Banquet too. bottle, bro. Dude, it, it's amazing. Although it's a little bit different, but uh, same thing. God, makes me um, have a red stripe. So, when was the last time you had a yeah, red stripe? I'm going to pour this in the yeah, brewery. selective. Red stripe? No, oh, man. Dude. I go for a red stripe. It's been years. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely been years. So here's the thing. Here's the caveat with this review. I'm going to try and be as non-biased as possible. Yeah, absolutely. But I really can't stand these types of stouts. Like the the winter honey the, the spice. Yeah. 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 I, I get it. Neither one of us really flock towards any of those. But we... <clears throat> um, but hey, you know what? This is almost... This could be in three separate channels. It, this could be in the science channel at the end of this. I mean, just because we don't care for... <laughs> This is gonna be garbage. Oh, okay, we really gotta do the science thing. I know we really yeah. do. What's going on over there? Is it a bug? No, it's water. water. Nice. Um, all right, so gingerbread stout first, I guess. Or? Here, you hold up the gingerbread. I'll hold up the barrel, all right. and we'll act like we know what we're doing and we've done this before. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. much what we do all the time. All right, so they are extremely, extremely dark. All right, so my head is a little bit. Let me try and froth her. A sliver, a sliver of brown on the bottom. Yours, I don't know if it's just me, but yours looks slightly more black than this one does. This is a little bit of a brown. That is just a pitch black. Yeah, I mean, they're a little bit same in appearance. I think oh the goodness. head... The head on this... The head on the uh, gingerbread, the... Fuck sakes. The canned one, <laughs> uh, it's very, like, frothy cappuccino... Like fluffy, it looks fantastic. I'll tell you what, actually, this one's a little bit lighter. The barrel aged, yeah. Wow, your your head just disappeared. It went away. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, but look, if you look from the top, I, dude, swirled it. It's a nice creamy rocky. Yeah. Head. They're very similar. This is more rocky. This is obviously. Well, not let's fun. get a whiff of the. Yeah, regular. let's get a whiff. Christmas in a friggin' bottle. It's right. It's Christmas. <sighs> yeah. It's a. Uh, I don't know why it. Yeah. 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 It's Christmas. Someone's gonna clip that. <laughs> Mouth open. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, 
So open your mouth when you do it. Actually, I get more. <laughs> Everybody knows if you open your mouth when you do it, you get more. <sighs> it's facts. Um, <laughs> our wives are watching this say, what the fuck? Watch the watch. I think yours dies a little bit sometimes. When I force her to, I'm oh, like, really? Oh, did you watch? Um, no, I, I didn't get around to it. It was like eight videos ago. It's like, oh, all right. No support. No support. All right. We get more support from Billy Rossi than we do the wives. <laughs> Billy, you're a great wife. You're a Hall of Fame. <laughs> Hall of Fame. What about this? Be it, um, yeah, Christmas. <laughs> okay, so I mean. <laughs> You get everything you say on it. Cinnamon, vanilla, ginger, honey. Yeah. Uh, a bit of the Christmas tree with the presents wrapped. So, my late grandmother would make gingerbread cookies every year with the frosting and the cinnamon eyes, buttons, all that. This smells. Okay. Like that. All right. Sorry for your loss. That's okay. Should we go in for the other one? Or yeah. Should we? No, I, I want to. I want okay, to. Okay, okay. That's different. Oh my goodness, that is severely different. <sighs> wow. So this is like, the regular is much more like every adjunct, every additive in there, you can smell independently. It's yes. just like, it comes together and it's like, whew. This one, everything's a bit more muted as it kind of sat there. I mean, the barrel takes over. See, for me personally, I enjoyed this barrel one more oh. off the scent. Because okay. I hate the shit that's I, in this one. I, <laughs> I mean, I do too. Like, I, I very much enjoy the barrel. I love the barrel barrel characteristics in there. Uh, it, it smells like an older barrel, even though what, it's three three months or whatever. Uh, everything just seems subdued with this nice kind of just like... Um, it's not even... What is that? It's just like a, a slight mossy kind of... Like mm, a, okay. American hardwood. Oh man, it, it is. It's subdued, but it's very. It's yeah, pleasant. Ah, you, let's get into. All right, let's uh, let's get it. Yeah. Oh, dear God, Jesus Christ! Cheers. <laughs> Gingerbread cookie. Gingerbread molasses cookie. Um. The vanilla is pronounced. Drinking uh, these at about room temperature. Room temperature. Uh, thin. I mean, it, it... Really? You think so? Yeah. I think it's not too thin. I think there's some weight behind it. I think it's kind of hefty. 9.2? Think about it. We just drink yeah. a 9... A uh, that's what I was thinking about, though. The Rorbach. Rorbach. And I was like, that, that was thin. This is so thick compared to that. Uh, I spoke out of turn. I don't mind this. As it's warmed up. Like, the spice is kind of... Chilling or whatever. Did we even say Canada date? No. Uh, it says, catch me if you can. October 26, 2023. This so is it's November, had some chill. Yeah, November 13th, 2023. So it's had time to chill out and stuff. And, like, I just hate that overspice thing. Maybe that's where the hatred of our pumpkin thing comes from. Probably. Um, oh, it's decent. There's a... Chocolate. There's... Kind of a nice chocolate. There is. So it's like if you took a gingerbread cookie mm. and drizzle it with some chocolate. Mm. You know how you make those uh, the peanut butter honey, cookies cinnamon. with the Hershey Kiss in the middle? It's see, almost like if you put a... See, the thing is, I, I don't really feel like I need to be that specific on what I'm tasting. Because like literally everything it says on the label, you're tasting. It, it matches up well. There is a bit of a coffee kind of dark roast aspect to it, which I don't mind. Um, no. I'll tell you what, when this is really fresh, I just can't do it. It's too spicy. Yeah, I think it's borderline for me right now where it's like, I, I'm, I'd be okay with this much. I think the spices would catch up. Don't you me. feel like this is the epitome of something you're drinking specifically for Christmas? Yeah. Like, if you want to be like, you want to be like that cool craft beer dude that brings, opens up the eyes of your, your, your family. Mm -hmm. You're just like, here, everyone have like a little ounce of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely something I would do. What do you rate it? It's super chocolatey. 
See, the thing is, I hate spice, but I love molasses cookies. Mm -hmm. Oh, give me all the molasses cookies. Not necessarily gingerbread. Molasses is more subdued, more sugary sweet, brown sugar. <sighs> Gingerbread's coming out. It's, in, it's a, it's an interesting beer. Um, the vanilla sweetness, like the the frosting, I get that too. It's sweet. Um, I think the temperature for it's really good. Ah, give it a <sighs> boy. For what it is, I think it's spot on. For what it is, uh, for what it is. Probably a four or five for me. Eh, high three nine, maybe. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I would go out of my way to get it. Yeah. High four or five for what it is. Uh, personal preference, 3.75. Okay. Um, all right. Let's move on to the barrel. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Five all day. Um, so this... I think a lot of wow. a lot of those notes are there, the vanilla, but man, the barrel is just kind of just hugging. This all adds of like it. a dark stone fruit, and like uh, just a <clears throat> bit of sawdust, charred sawdust. Let's dive in for a sip. Let's do it. Cheers. Out on the nose, the, the spices are much more subdued. Ooh, that's not what I was expecting. That's, wow. That's creamy. Like, it's, it's almost a, a batter. Is the sweetness just jacked up for you? It is, but it's not, like, super sugary sweet. You know, it's 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 a confectionery sweet. My this goodness. beer put a smile on my face. <laughs> I see that. You, you were immediately like, oh, oh. This is nice. Oh, man. The, Dare I say this is what I wanted this beer to be? Holy crap. Dude, that is like, to me, that is the sweetness of like a weeded bourbon. But then you add like this kind of thing to it. It's almost if you took whiskey or bourbon and put it in the barrel of this. It, wow. I really. This is beautiful. I think the bourbon notes are, they're not. Punching you in the face, but they are present enough to be very warming and welcoming. They're, it's a warm hug around all these notes that are in this other one. I'm getting this overall arching sense of a young kind of like cedar kind of taste, but with like this vanilla char mixed with a little bit of honey. And uh, there was almost like a bit of like a cinnamon pear in there oh. and it just meshes very well with like the ginger the honey the cinnamon and the the creaminess of the stout itself has then lended into the barrel this is fantastic this is like and, it, and everything that pops in this mm -hmm. like the spices and stuff gets subdued and just kind of mellowed out by that barrel but the, then the barrel boosts up with the sweetness like the sweetness between this, hold on. Maybe the sweetness is here, but the spice, it's got that cinnamon challenge kind of thing going on. But then you come over here and you're like, hey, now. It's like the refined version of this. Yeah, you kind of said what I was going to. Like all, all the flavors and notes out of this one that are kind of bouncing all over and doing their thing, I feel like are just subdued, collected, and just placed into one sip. Like, it's all kind of mellowed out by that barrel character. This is really good. I really like this. That's really good. Now, that's a Christmas beer I get behind. Yes. That, like... <laughs> If I saw both on the shelf, I would knock this one to the side and I would take that snake oil salesman's beer okay. all day long. Are so, you cuveting these? Well, we got to rate it first. Yeah, I know. I feel like we're doing it. Well, can I tell you? Can I tell you? you can. Here's something you're never going to hear. Here, okay. Ever. Four or five. <laughs> Where did 
for a spicy Christmas beer. Like that's um, a good goddamn beer. Yeah, man, I'm I'm. Whew. Yeah, this might be a bar to set Christmas beers at, man. Like this is a fantastic beer. I'll, you know what? I'm gonna let Dan have this one. Got a four point four nine. <laughs> Delicious. Now I coupe. It's fantastic. I don't want to ruin this beer. It's I know, but let's. We got to do it. It's mandatory. If you do a beer battle and you don't cuvee, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. Like, you, seriously, you can go kind of screw yourself. Pretty much. Might as well just go watch the beer patrol from now on. All right. Okay. So, I, I have high hopes for this. <laughs> I mean, it looks the same. Let's not just focus Which on I that. Which I was not expecting. Yeah, it looks the same. It looks great. Uh... Okay, so it's a little bit more spice forward. Yeah, I, I think a lot of the, the aroma notes are still popping. Right off the bat, I know we've ruined the beer. <laughs> we ruined this beer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just dive in. Cheers. Yeah. Body, better, mixing, flavor, ruin the flavor of this beer. Body is like very fluff and nutter kind of thing going very, on. Very fluffy, very like soft. Uh, very light, fresh fallen snow. All those, all those flavors that I thought were just kind of blended and mellowed out, yeah. are popping and separating again. The spice is coming out too. I don't like it. Yeah, no, it was a horrible decision. Now we had to do it, but it now was here's a the thing. Decision. Here's the thing. Let's bring ourselves outside of us, mm -hmm. and let's focus more on. The people watching. Yes. So there are a lot of people that love and cherish this beer. Are there? Oh, yeah. Is this a, a beloved beer? Oh, Nerd Sense just goes ape shit over this stuff. Are you uh, sure? Yeah. Uh, so, listen. If you enjoy this, uh -huh. and you enjoyed this, I think this has gotten better for you. Because it's, it's made the balance of spices to the barrel-aged version equal. If mm -hmm. not the spices, or maybe it's like a 60 a 40 yeah. kind of deal, or maybe even a 51% 49% kind of deal. Shit, that sip was really good. I like it. I like it better separate. For the cuvee, I'll rate it. I'll give it a 4 1. Yeah, I'll drop it down to a 4. Um, the spice just comes through too much for me, but this was the perfect. Damn, that's a good beer. Yeah. What well, do you do you remember the price point for this this beer? I think it was pretty damn cheap. I think it was like eight bucks, nine bucks at AJ's. I would pay that all day for that beer. That because I remember it. It was the last one they had on the shelf. I grabbed it. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think we both prefer that the barrel. What's interesting more. is usually you could only get these if you bought the big Christmas pack that Nerd Sense gets every year. But they started releasing these. Sean, Mike. Oh, there's a mic on that channel? Hey, buddy. What's that? All right. Uh, this has been a long video. Now I'm going to have to link NerdSense. In there. You got to go watch NerdSense. If you're not watching NerdSense, it's, it's been... Get out of here. I don't, like, listen, come on. I'll make this an hour if I want. Uh, and I'm holding a weapon, so watch me. It's it's his freaking Switchblade beard comb. Uh, yeah, if you're not watching NerdSense, they do great beers. Go check those guys out. They know what they're talking about. We, that's at work. I have it is in my it, drawer. Is it golden? The the switchblade. If it's not golden, just yeah. throw it out. Yeah. <sighs> Dang. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> I wish I had some of this in my fridge right now. We've been just sitting on You know what? Because you know it's March. You know we're gonna get a blizzard at some point, and I just would like to sit inside, dare I say, feet a waggling, sipping on this beer right here. And how long have we been sitting on this? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll tell you what, after doing this, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, son. Pretty, 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 pretty good. good. Rest in peace Rest in to peace. Richard Lewis, by Richard the way. Lewis. That, that's, it, it, it is a sad day. It is. It is sad. And you know what? I, I still, I'm glad he got to have a little more fun with Larry. Oh, definitely. On a, on a final season of Curb. But to Larry's point, he won. He did. He won. He did. 
I literally <laughs> watched Larry Dog. I was telling Mike, I, I literally yeah. just watched the episode. It was like seasons ago. He's like, <laughs> they're, they're like arguing in the mosque, or was the mosque, or what do they call the, the temple? Oh, the te- yeah, yeah. yeah the temple. They're, they're arguing in the temple. He's like, would you die already? Just die. I think do it this season, I believe, on the golf course. When are you going to oh, die? I didn't watch the season yet. I just haven't. Oh my God. I've been holding out. I've been holding oh, out. Because I, I, I know I just, I'm going to start and not want to stop, so I've been just continuing. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, dude, this is I. I love this. this. Was I, I? I'm glad this turned out the way it did. This this was good. I'm glad we did it, because um, it, it's definitely it's spiced beers. You know, we tend to shy away from. So I like I like when we're we continue to try them, because again, you never know when some brewery's gonna make one. That you're like, oh, it's not too bad. So yeah, now yeah. that. <sighs> Damn, I wish we had more. Of this. <laughs> In fact, I think I bought this when I was with you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's possible. All right. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Hopefully I get edited out this. I don't look like a ghost again. It's crazy. It's over here. Um, it doesn't matter. What? It's over for us. You know what? It, it's just, I, I got to like black out these windows. <laughs> I'm telling you. We just got to bunker it up like Rajopolis. And just, you know. In the basement? Yeah. I mean, look at me. It looks so white, right? It always does. They'll it never know because like... I'm gonna edit it with color. But again, and as I've told you many times, that's not what you look like in real life. <laughs> you look like a healthy individual who's had enough sunlight. Okay. There, you look a little sickly. I know. I do look a little sickly, like from from our vantage point without editing. Yeah, yeah. I... But Dan is now going to. I go think and... I, I think I have like an olive oil skin. In real life. Yeah. This is what the winter does to us. I feel like you're complaining about this in the summer, too. No. I don't remember. The time summer is so great. complaining about oh, it. It's terrible. It's too much sun. Listen. Oh, uh, it's bleaching. In, in the summer, when we were like reviewing beers, shades of everything. Yeah, but here's open. the thing we had these open. I was like, oh, that looks so terrible in hindsight. With the ba- the back ones open because the camera is like it doesn't know what to do, doesn't know what how to handle it, how to cope. I but miss Lloyd these Mullen. ones. Yeah, we need that ambient. Oh, it's gonna be Mullen soon. You know what? Maybe if we had these a different color, kind of break it up. <laughs> Nicole comes home. You have it all ripped off. We're changing the whole room. I need a warmer wood, and we know Nicole doesn't respect wood. No, no. There's rings all over. I don't care that I don't enjoy this as much mixed. I'm still drinking it. It's just like this yeah, is, but that's this just alcoholism. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Don't add a little bit. Yeah, you could just throw the plant out. Put it outside. No, no, put it outside. Put it outside. Well, it's been winter. I want to see it, dude. It was just one. Is it cold? Gonna kill? It was just one blade of just like, just decay. Okay, now and it's look, more. look, All right, it's, look. It's, I've it's rescued. It's flourishing. It. I've rescued it. You've saved a life. It's like John Taffer is bar rescue. I have plant rescue. Uh, no, no. In your mind, you are now its lord and master, and it serves you, but it's doing nothing to okay. service you, aside from giving bugs to this room. Uh, we're so drunk. I'm drunk. You've been, I mean, you've hammered, like, the rest of the beers <laughs> we've reviewed. I'm fucking hammered. Wait, you're throwing that out? I'm like, yeah. Wow, hey, now, I was settle down here. Yeah, I'm sick of wasting so much. Our resources on Earth are here very valuable. It's for the channel. We're going to go. Okay. Well, uh, down in the description below, link trees, all that stuff. Hit us up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Cheers. We're better than nerd sense. <laughs>